Hello and welcome to another episode of Homegrown with Tracy Milan. I am Tracy Milan and I am the owner and creator of the Brewmill Candle Company. I love my house smelling like fresh brewed coffee and this one here from the Flaming Candle Company is the absolute best coffee fragrance in my opinion. So we are going to make this candle. We're going to start from beginning to end. We're going to show you how to make the whip topping and then we are going to show you how to make the coffee bean embeds as well. I don't put anything in my candles that is not made out of wax or fragrance oil. And look at that whip topping. I mean, seriously, isn't this a lovely candle? All right, you're gonna make this with me. Let's get started. Today we are going to make a coffee candle with a whipped topping and we're going to top it off with some um, waxed candle coffee beans melts. I guess they're melts. And um, yeah, so we just start with just filling our coffee mug with uh, coffee candle wax and now I have a little bit left over and I'm going to go ahead and make my wax beans inside these little uh, molds. Oh, yeah. So the next thing I do is I mix my wax into my container with my fragrance oil and I actually mix in a little bit of 464 in with the C3. I don't know why, it whips really nice the 464 soy. So I let it cool down a lot and I get out my little bag and I put it in a little um, cup so that the bag, the piping bag will stand up. And I basically just keep whipping this for, um, it takes about 20 minutes for me to whip it, leave it alone for five minutes, come back, whip it some more. What I want it to do is to hold its um, shape when I put my spatula through it like that. Whipping it in this mixture, I did the same thing. I did 8% fragrance oil. And the only difference is that I added some 464 flakes right to the hot melted C3 um, because this, the 464 seems to hold its shape really well when I'm whipping it. I tried it with the C3 and it just it didn't hold very well. So as you can see here, it looks like it's getting nice and thick. And I do want to get that into the piping bag now before it hardens. Although it's, it doesn't go fast. It's not, it's not like soap. You don't have to rush. I probably even have another 10 minutes that I could leave this alone for. That I'm just going to whip it up to get all of the lumps out. Um, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and fill it into this bag. And let's go on over to the candles and whip that on top. And they're going to look really good. So yeah, see, you see it's nice and thick there. It's definitely, it's staying in the piping bag. It's not dripping out. I have to give it a push to get it to come out. All right, so um, what I do is I just twirl it around. I hold that wick up so that I don't bury the wick in the wax. And I go around and I just pipe it as um, decoratively as I can. I'm a candle maker, I'm not a baker, so my piping skills are probably not as good as people who bake, but I think it still looks pretty nice. So when you're doing this, just try to keep your wick upright, pull it up. Sometimes it likes to tuck down underneath the wax and you really don't wanna deal with that later. So these candles that I poured, uh, they've only been sitting for about an hour while I mixed this uh, little concoction up. So it, it's still warm and it, it will probably want to try to warm up the wax as I'm putting it in there, but it's not uh, really that noticeable, so. All right, so there I am just making sure that all of my wicks are straight as that wax topping, that whip topping that I put on is starts to harden. And now here's our little beans that we made. They are ready, they didn't take long. I put it right in the freezer. As soon as I poured it, I just waited, it for, waited for it to harden a little bit and I threw it in the freezer. And uh, this is less than an hour later. So these are the coffee beans. I don't like to use real coffee beans. I don't like to use real anything. I don't use anything in my candles. Everything that goes in my candles is wax. I'm not interested in starting any fires. I'm not interested in starting any debates about this or not. I don't do it. Everyone can do what they want to do. I, uh, I use everything. I have every kind of mold that I would want to put. I've got little florals. I've got hearts. I've got sprinkles. I got everything and I use them all out of wax. So here's these cute little coffee beans. 
and I'm just dropping them right into the wax. Now you want to put it into the whip topping wax while it's still wet. Otherwise these aren't going to stick. They're just going to roll right off. So I'm just tucking them in there. I'm going to add three or four to each one. And they stick nice. You just pop them right in there. And yeah, these are going to these are going to be really cute. I'm going to like these a lot. So that's about it. I just get all of the coffee beans on top and I then will straighten my wicks out again just to make sure that um, everything is nice and centered before everything starts to cure for the next couple of weeks. And yeah, those look really nice. There I am just straightening out my wicks. And these little coffee mugs, uh, they're just great. I, I sell these a lot. My customers absolutely love these thick, heavy coffee mugs. Everything I'm using here, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. And these ones I think I got from Dollar Tree and they're so thick and they're, they're lovely. I really like them a lot. And there they are, they are a finish. Now the only thing I have to do is cut down those long wigs. And I just left it for about an hour so that they were nice and hard by the time I came back with my wick clippers. And uh, I just went ahead and just clipped down all of the wicks as low as I could go. Some of them are a little high because they try to sit up around the um, whip topping there, but I'm not worried about them. I've tested these. They melt right down right away and then you can just clip them off and then keep going. But look at that. It looks like a real mug of coffee with whip topping. Anyway, that's them. We're going to stick them on our website, and I hope you get a chance to play around and do it yourself. Thanks for watching.